using web gems conditioner I didn't get the web gem for this one yet I will be but I did break it in by hand uh, using the glove guru guru method from uh, Wilson uh, so I used the conditioner that web gem gave me for my infielders mitt and I gave it a nice once over all the laces all the webbing all the surface area of the mitt and then uh, I pretty much took my my do-it-yourself mallet that I made from Menards sorry I'm doing this with my hand um, which is pretty much all it is is a outdoor fence topper uh, Gorilla glued to a table leg, and I just sanded it down real nice and filed it down, and then smoothed out the the ball so you didn't have any, so it wouldn't scar any of the uh, leather up. So I took that and I helped form the pocket with that. I also did the hot water method. Like I said, I did the glove guru method, uh, Maso, and uh, so after I conditioned it, I let it dry for a couple days. And then I took it to the hot the sink and used the hot water straight from the tap. And it softened up the leather pretty nicely and gave me a pretty good uh, foundation to start making a pocket. I also formed it right here and this made this break point and this break point so it squeezes closed like that. And as you can tell it's actually really I mean I can close it pretty readily. It's not it's not as stiff as it once was. The uh, you can even tell a little bit right here. Almost looks like the ball's still in the pocket, and it's not. There's no, you know, there's no ball in there. But when you close it, it does look like that's how you know you have a good pocket. So that is the Rawlings. Here's the product code. If I can find it, it should be right here in the net. It is the Pro CMHCB2. Um, I, you cannot find these on Rowling's websites. I got this one on eBay, um, which I did risk, you know, getting a knockoff. Or, but it was in the states, so I was uh, pretty, pretty confident in my purchase. Um, for a hundred, I think I paid 150 bucks plus shipping, so I ended up being 160. You might still be able to find something like this. Um, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be brand new with tags, but if you can get one that's even close to it, you might be able to even still get the ones the red webbing and stitching. Um, if you really wanted to have that original Pujols look, um, I would suggest just, you wouldn't be able to get the webbing unless you call Rawlings up and they might be able to hook you up with a guy but um, that has the capability of making this web again. But, um, you could definitely re relace the stitching to a, a cardinal red. Um, the one drawback I would say, and, I, and this is just something I have to fix myself, which isn't a which isn't a big deal. Um, I do have fairly large hands, but I do three three fingers in the slot like a catcher's mitt because I'm used to doing it that way. And for a mitt like this, you know, first base mitt does have bigger um, finger holes, finger slots. Unlike my infielders, where I just do two in the pinky, I do three. So you see where my my finger rests right there. But even though I have it in all the way, it is still a little bit, it's still a little loose. So I will have to come through and relace this over one. But yeah, that's that is the Rawlings first base submit Albert Pujols edition. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.